March arrived with a colorful burst of spring flowers on a canvas of grey. Rain pattering gently on my window every morning, footpaths still boggy from the winter floods. Instead of going outside to enjoy spring in its humble beginnings, I stay at home more often, cozy in my own little world with a cup of licorice and peppermint tea, my favorite for this time of the year. Today I want to talk to you about the importance of simply doing things you enjoy, at least ever so often. You see, I caught myself feeling stagnant and anxious this week. Someone asked me a question, what do you do besides work, and I fell into some kind of stupor, realization that I don't really have many hobbies, as all of them have suddenly turned into work. That's the interesting world we live in, where in order to feel productive and more efficient in day-to-day -day life, we eliminated the simple things, the things that don't give us anything apart from pure joy. What is it that brings you joy? What makes you feel most alive? I often feel like these need to be the big things, important things. But the answer is so much simpler. Beauty really is in simplicity, in smallest moments of daily life in making a little bit of time to do something, anything, simply because that makes you feel most alive. Make herbal tea and drink it out of a huge, beautiful mug. Join pottery lessons and make something by hand. I never told you that, but I've been going to pottery classes for most of last year. It's an activity I enjoyed without trying to share it or be very good at it, and I use my mugs and plates in my own kitchen. Or simply go outside, even when it's cold or raining, even if it's dark and there isn't much beauty to enjoy just yet. On a grey early spring day, I went for a walk in an arboretum under the rain, twirling between lush camellias and fragrant magnolias. I never noticed before that some varieties of magnolias have this most wonderful, delicate, sweet smell. Neither have I noticed before how camellias store rainwater between their petals. You could almost drink from it, as if drinking from a fairy cup. I put on a new dress, I know it's very much out of season, but I'm done wearing thick coats and dark colors. I hope, though, that nature agrees with me and will keep up the spring-like atmosphere.
wearing pretty clothes, using pretty mugs, eating that special bar of chocolate we've been putting off for a special occasion. You see, the special occasion is now, and we should do joyful things without waiting for the next best time. Dresses get eaten by moths, and that's such a true story because I took one out of the closet and it had a big moth-eaten hole in it. Chocolates expire, and pretty mugs might never see the light of day. Use them as much as you can, just because. And then I made a rhubarb crumble, which turned out oh so delicious, but also oddly educational. Did you know rhubarb season comes to England a little earlier? As I was about to make this crumble, I noticed something interesting written on the pack. Forced rhubarb, it said, and I never heard about this concept before. So I began to research and found out that it's a type of rhubarb that grows from December to March. It is trained to be especially hardy. Victorians developed this concept back in the 19th century and planted it in the fertile soils of Yorkshire. They planted rhubarb outside to grow in the cold for two years, until transferring it to special barns where the plant grew in complete darkness. Searching for light, it grows taller and taller, but for the lack of sunlight, it never gets to grow leaves or develop a green color. It stays a pretty shade of light pink and develops a sweeter, milder flavor. And farmers have to be very careful. If any sunlight reaches the stalks, the rhubarb would photosynthesize and grow leaves. So farmers to this day collect it carefully under dim candlelight. How a little bit sad, but so romantic is that? So today's video is just a simple reminder to carve out a few minutes for something beautiful, just because. Learn about something new about Yorkshire rhubarb or drink tea out of a huge mug in silence, if you can. I hope you have a wonderful time. See you again soon.